do you match with women online, but then your interactions constantly feel like they fizzle out and you never actually get them to turn into a real date? Well, I'm dating coach Hayley Quinn, and I am gonna be giving you some advice today on how to time asking her out perfectly so your interactions no longer fizzle out. Please also comment below if you've experienced this problem where you get the matches, but they're really not converting and turning into actual real life dates, which is what we want. So chances are, I think if you're getting the matches, but they're not transforming into dates in the real world, you may have let the interaction fizzle out. Usually this comes from a space of actually delaying asking her out for too long. Usually that's because you might be waiting for some clear signal or some perfect moment, or you feel like you need to do more in the interaction before it's okay to ask her out, which leads you to procrastinate taking that step. And ultimately, particularly with people we meet online, it's so important to remember that enthusiasm has a half-life. If she's in the zone to match with you, to chat with you and to go out with you today, there's a good chance that she won't be in the same headspace next week. So whilst you often have to get feedback from her as to the pace she wants to take the interaction at, if you find your interactions are fizzling and gradually her responses are getting less and less frequent, they're getting shorter, they're getting more boring, and eventually the chat just closes down, that's usually a signal to you that you missed that exit point and in fact you need to wrap things up sooner. Wrapping things up sooner can feel scary because it's going to mean that you're going to have to face maybe a little bit of a fear of rejection. However, there's a really good reason why trying to wrap things up sooner makes a lot of sense. Remember, this isn't about getting a yes from this one woman. She is not the only woman out there in the world for you. Instead, if it is your intention right now in your dating life to meet and connect with women in a meaningful way in the real world, you need to check out whether the women you are interacting with are open to the same things as you. If she is not open to doing that and she just wants to have a pen friendship, that's probably not gonna work for you. So it's actually good for your dating life as a bigger picture thing to take that action and figure out which women you could connect with the best. So when is the right time to take that exit point in the interaction? Well, I've got five quick tips to help you with this as well. So tip number one is, whilst I want you to ask for her out in the real world soon-ish, we don't wanna be asking her out on the first message. If we ask her out on the first message, she's not yet had a chance to invest and to contribute to that interaction. That will make her feel like, hey, he's just asking me out because of how I look. He doesn't actually care about who I am and to try and connect with me. In fact, asking her out on the first message, it might feel efficient to you, but in fact, it's highly unlikely to get you the response that you want. My second tip is to remember, it's not actually about the number of messages you send back and forth. It's about the connection that you've established. Sometimes that happens more quickly than in others. However, if you've had 10 exchanges back and forth, so she's said five things, you've said five things, and at no point are you thinking, there's a jump off point here for me to actually ask her out, then that's a, that the alarm bell should be ringing in your head. Think about this, it's about this stage in the interaction where you should be developing enough of a personal connection that you are able to ask her out, or equally, if there's absolutely nothing there from her, be comfortable with walking away. My third tip is, if there really is nothing there from her and she's literally giving you one word answers or very short answers, or she's just not putting any effort into impressing you or connecting with you, be all right to let it go. You don't have to always think, how can you be funnier, wittier, flirtier, cooler to change her reaction to you? Instead, if you're like, so how's your day going? I've just come in from this awesome hike and I'm gonna do this later. And she replies, just waking up, lol. You might think, woman, you're not interesting enough for me to continue interacting with. So also part of getting this right is choosing your battles and also looking for women who from the get-go start to invest and contribute to the interaction. My fourth tip is to remember that there is a real law of momentum when it comes to dating and relationships. Just like I said at the start of this video, enthusiasm has a half-life. If she feels like going out with you today, she may not feel like going out with you tomorrow. So. If she does seem in a space where she's being really chatty and really responsive and wants to connect, you want to capitalize on that. A great policy for this is after you send her a message, 
why don't you just leave your phone open or in reach for the next five to 10 minutes? So if she shoots your response right back, you're then able to turn it into an instant messaging exchange where you can more quickly build up to asking her for a date. Because we all know that if you send a message one day, she sends a message the next day, and then you take another day, eventually this is gonna fizzle out. So again, the best interactions for you to focus on are women who are showing those signals of being ready to invest, connect, and meet right now. My fifth tip is that you also always want to be asking a woman out at a time where she's really emotionally invested in the interaction. So when she's giving you these high quality information about her life, she's telling you about her hopes and dreams, she's being fun, she's being playful, use this as an opportunity to capitalize on and as your reason for taking the next step forwards. You could say something as simple as, with chats this good, we should turn this into real life. Or you could say something like, I haven't laughed this much in a while on message. Let's swap to WhatsApp. When you choose to take that step forwards, it should be about something that's happened in the interaction, some next level of connection that's been reached. And that's your reason for springboarding on to asking her out. So if you'd like to learn more about how you can develop this high confidence male mindset, and you'd also like some more advice on exactly how you can improve your messaging style with women, please head over to hayleyquinn.com forward slash unite, where I've got a cool online free training program for you, including perhaps a few cheeky cheat sheets on exact messages you can send her. Yeah.